How do you find the duplicate entries in a Java list? How do you find the number of occurrences of duplicate entries in a Java list? And how do you remove duplicates from a Java list? Well, those are very common problems that you'll see, well, on university and college exams, in online challenges, and even in just day-to-day -day software development and programming. This type of scenario comes up over and over again, which is why I want to show you how to solve these problems, starting off with how to find duplicates in a list. Now, there's a number of ways to do this, and I've written an article over on the serverside.com, which uh, goes through a number of different ways to do it. But the best and easiest and most efficient way to do it is to use a combination of a hash set and the Java Streams API. As you may or may not know, a hash set, which I'm going to create right here, hash set unique items. And I'm going to call it unique items because that's what a hash set holds. You can only have one instance of a particular element in a hash set. You can't put the number three into a hash set four times. You can only put it in there once. A hash set can only hold unique items. So I'm going to create a new hash set um, because I'm going to need it in just a second. So there we go. Hash set created. And then after creating the hash set, I'm going to use the streams API and an interesting method of the hash set. The hash set allows you to add items to it using the add method. Now, if the item is unique and it's never been added to the hash set before, the add method returns true. But if the object already exists in the hash set, the add method returns false. And if it returns false, that means we've got a duplicate. So we can use this information, the fact that the hash sets add method returns false when an item already exists in it, we can use that information to identify duplicates in the list. We can add it to the filter method of the stream API, and then that will filter out all of the elements that are duplicates in the list. Here's how it works. Okay, thus the list of duplicates of duplicates is equal to, well, let's get my list. Okay, and if we get my list, let's turn it into a stream. We need the stream API. And let's filter it, and so that we filter out all of the duplicates and put those duplicates into this list that we named duplicate. So we'll do the filter. Um, but what are we going to do in the filter? Um, what we're going to do is for each element in the list, so n is the element in the list that we're going to loop over, go through, inspect, evaluate. What we're going to do is we're going to try and add it to that list of unique items. If it adds, that means that indeed, uh, uh, if the add method returns true, that means it's unique. If it returns false, that means it's not unique. Um, if this returns false, it doesn't get filtered, but if it returns true, it does. So what we do is we look for false, we negate the false to make it true, which will then force duplicates, objects that weren't allowed to be added to the set, um, to be filtered into the list of duplicate objects. Think about it for a minute. Um, it's pretty tricky, um, but it's a pretty cool solution to um, filtering out duplicates from a list. So now we've got that list of duplicates. <laughs> this looks like I was using the Steam API. Um, no, this isn't Steampunk here. It's the Stream API that we want, and it's the unique items that we're trying to add in. Boy, Java's really got to learn how to uh, correct my spelling mistakes right there. But I think we've got it. Um, we don't want to print out my list. We want to print out the uh, duplicates here. May as well print out both. That looks good. Right click, run as a Java application, and boom, we find out that one, three, zero, zero, one, and one are all duplicates. Now, notice that's printing out the duplicates. So you'll see one is printed out three times, although it occurs four times in the original list. That's because we're only pulling out the duplicates. The original one in the list doesn't get counted here. That's kind of the way um, that this functionality works. Now, if you are interested 
more in like the occurrence of the objects and the occurrence of the duplicates. You know, there's a, a, some neat functions in the collections API that can come in handy. Let's do this. I'm going to just create a, um, a program that prints out the number of occurrences of each element in the list. So it'll say one occurs four times and zero occurs three times if that's correct in the list. Um, you do this by first starting off with a hash set. Um, it's a hash set of objects, I guess, and I'm going to call it again, unique elements. And it's just going to be a new hash set, a little diamond operator there, I guess. Um, but it's going to be based on my list, right? So I'm now going to create uh, a hash set of unique elements based on this here. So that's going to hold one instance of each object in that list. From there, we can loop through that unique listing. So for each element in the unique elements hash set, what we want to do is a system.out.print print false. I don't know why it did that there. I'm actually going to use the print a couple of times here. So I'm going to just do a couple of them right in there. So system.out.print, what do we want to print the first time? We just want to print the element. So that could be the number 0, 1, 2. Then we want to print a little text. We can say occurrences, colon, and then finally here, what we're going to do is we're going to use the collections API. So collections API dot frequency method. And we're going to find the frequency of the elements in my list for the current element that we are looping over. And of course, again, you got to spell that right. So collections dot frequency. Make sure that you've imported Java dot util up there or the specific collections class. And now when we run this, we should be able to see the occurrence of each instance of that class. So run as a Java application. And there you go. Zero occurs three times, one occurs four times, two occurs once, three occurs twice, five occurs once, six occurs once. But now you've got the number of occurrences of elements in a list. Now, finally, I guess the, the last thing people usually want to know is how do you remove duplicates from a list? And again, uh, this is another great usage of the Java Streams API. I've got my list there. Um, I can reassign a value to that list say my list equals and say my list dot stream so turn that into a stream there is a distinct method that doesn't mean it smells that stinks not distinct distinct will pull out all of the unique elements and then of course just say the to list method okay my list equals my list dot stream dot distinct dot to list that will pull out all of the duplicates and leave you just with a unique list. Let's click Control S. Let's run this application. Boom. All of a sudden we're left with 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. And 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6 are all of the elements that exist in that list. So there you go. That is how you find duplicates in a Java list. That's how you find the occurrences of duplicates in a Java list. And that's how you remove duplicates from a list in Java as well. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java, Spring Boot, DevOps, Git, GitHub, Agile, Scrum, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, why don't you follow me on Twitter uh, at CameronMCNZ and also look in this description and sign up for the newsletter. We've got a newsletter that talks about all of the latest developments in the world of software development, enterprise development, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and even some stuff about blockchain technology. We're also looking at, at uh, what's going on with a new programming language with, called Mojo, which I think is really going to change the game in terms of software development in the near future. And if you, you want to stay ahead of the trends, you're going to want to learn more about the Mojo programming language. So we're talking about that on the server side and in my newsletter. So sign up for that. And of course, you're probably watching this video on YouTube, right?
So, you know, the other thing I would suggest is that you subscribe on the YouTube.